Essentially, it is ins originally inspired by a prehistoric cave in France. So this cave kind of continues to speak to me as an artist. And even though I've moved on to other imagery, it's more tribal, it's more world art, um, it's more um, brighter and playful than the original images I started with, that cave is still my touchstone. Um, whenever my world shakes up a bit, it's the first place I head back to for inspiration. I started as a traditional quilter, and when I wanted to work with this cave, I wanted it to look like cave art, and I wanted little buttons on the quilt that would look like little artifacts, so I started making little horse artifacts. So they started as buttons. Then the buttons became jewelry, and then the buttons got big and became artifacts. So the three uh, main lines um, in my art would be the fiber wall hangings with the artifacts as embellishments, uh, jewelry that features the artifacts as pendants, and then um, sculptures made out of larger artifacts. My art has a lot of interesting um, push and pull to it, and there's, there's a give and take, a push and pull, a dichotomy to it that just is really fascinating to me. It's a very modern material called polymer clay, and essentially it's a very soft clay that bakes in an ordinary oven. And I take um, two or three different colors of the clay and make a sandwich, um, alternating them and stack them up, and then stretch them out. And as I stretch them, the layers attenuate and become very, very thin. But when I fold it again or cut and stack it, the number of layers doubles. And after I do that three or four or five times, I get a block of material with a grain through it that looks like ivory or bone. And I take a chunk of that and actually start forming um, the horses or the bears or the birds. And then use a scrimshaw technique, which actually is kind of a traditional New Hampshire craft, and use that scrimshaw technique to bring up the detail after I carve and put the little decorations and marks in the clay. But bottom line, somebody who buys my work, my story has touched them and moved them deeply. And when they buy a piece, they have a part of my story and it becomes their story and they have it the rest of their life. And in this world where there's a lot of hardship and horror and um, a lot of pain, art is something that heals the world. And my art, I want to be a big part of that healing. I want people to have my art and have it make them happy and feel more powerful and maybe to even help them tell their own story.